Okay. Eric, obviously not the start you wanted. Got close a little at the end. What's your general takeaway from how the afternoon went? Yeah, it's clear. Boston controlled this game from the tip. The very first possession, offense rebound three. Uh, and from there, they controlled it. You have to give them credit. Uh, they won the big muscle areas. Uh, definitely won, won the three-point line. Um, and the majority of the, the areas in between, um, including defensively, they were up and into us, uh, getting us out of our normal flow, rhythm. Um, so we have to do a much better job by, uh, by Wednesday. You guys have seen a lot of doubles and early help on BAM over the last weeks, months. Them single covering band for most of the game. How, how does that kind of change maybe the game plan of what you guys have been? Yeah, doing? we'll see. Um, you know, I, I got to look into the film right now. Uh, you know, I have uh, a lot of thoughts uh, on that end. Like I said, you have to give them credit, you know, for uh, taking us out of uh, some things. Um, I think they're willing to, you know, um, live with some of those one-on-ones to be able to keep bodies on, you know, uh, our other guys. Uh, so we'll just have to find out the best plan, you know, to get everybody in rhythm. Uh, I love, you know, Bam, you know, when he's aggressive, you know, like that. And I also love him as a playmaker. We're going to probably need it at, at all levels, you know, for the rest of the series. Uh, Coach, um, uh, 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 39 seconds left in the third quarter. You called a timeout. I, 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 I thought it was phys- might, might have been physical fatigue. Were you... Uh, no. Concerned about mental no. fatigue at no. that point uh, had to make after a point the week in, that in you had been through. I burned one uh, to make a point. Coach, can you just kind of talk a little bit about how Tyler struggled a little bit? I think they keyed on him pretty early, and what do you think in game two needs to work on? Yeah, like I said, they you know they came out um, intent intent uh, with the intentions you know to you know put a lot of pressure on him, you know, whether it was on the ball with pick and rolls or off the ball with the movement. Um, we have to come up, you know, with some ways uh, to shake him free and get him to the strength zones uh, within the context uh, of what we do. That's the playoffs, you know. Uh, uh, they're doing stuff to get their best players activated, and we have to do things that, uh, you know, get our best players uh, going. Um, and then also, you know, other guys stepping up and, and making some plays to keep them on, honest. Eric, your thoughts on DeLon Wright and what he gave you, beyond just the five three-pointers, which are career high, just his overall two-way effort? Yeah, it's, it's one of the few um, bright spots, you know, defensively. I mean, throughout the course of the game, we'd have some pockets here or there where it, it looked like us. Certainly the, uh, the three ball, the way they were shooting it, um, you know, took away some of our aggressiveness, but, um, Delon, you know, has gotten a lot more comfortable in two months uh, in our system, and uh, what he does fits what we do defensively. And he, he was very active. Rough moments for Hyman, but he stayed aggressive and had some yeah. moments. What, what did you like about just his, his first playoff experience? He gathered himself. You know, we need him uh, to be aggressive, um, so it's not all just Tyler and Bam. Uh, and then the decision making once he gets into the paint, uh, and that's part of you know his. His development, he's gotten much better in the last six weeks or so, uh, reading the defense, reading the backside, reading where the help is coming, reading if, uh, you know, cutters or, or spacers are open or if you can get all the way to the rim. All right, thank you.